Hi friends, I'm Dick Barklow, pastor at Fort Walton Beach First United Methodist. Welcome to the Pastor's Study, our daily devotional to help us focus our mind on the things of God. Uh, we're going to start a new a set of studies of devotional today. We're going to be looking together at the Epistle of James uh, and walking through uh, that book together over the next uh, few weeks. It's not a very long book, but it is packed uh, with important, uh, practical application to the Christian life. Uh, in fact, I'd like to read to you, this is what the Wesley Study Bible uh, says about the book of James. And I think it sets us up as we uh, move forward thinking about this scripture. It says this, what, what scripture better exemplifies Wesley's practicality than the letter of James, or presents greater rebuke to the church? In James, faith is a set of specific practices engendered in the congregation that make disciples walk in a different direction than the world's way. In the contemporary church, being a Christian is often presented as a technique for happiness and prosperity, a helpful way of getting what we want. In James, Christians suffer because they follow Jesus, God's, uh, God's divine. Yes, in much of the church, salvation is something that you believe or feel. In James, salvation is when you talk and walk like Jesus. Though Jesus is mentioned only twice, James exemplifies the communal, congregational, practical consequences when a congregation dares to obey the one who commanded, follow me. And I think this Bible is right on. In James, uh, salvation is not just something that we feel or experience. Salvation is the way that we act. We are saved to be different. And James gives us many ways that we can be different. I, I want to read the first verse to you. We're just going to look at the first verse today and talk a little bit about the context. And that will get us ready for the rest of the week. So this is uh, James chapter 1 verse 1. James, a servant of God and, the, and of the Lord Jesus Christ. To the twelve tribes in this version, greetings. Now, uh, this, to me, is very important. Now, I know it's just kind of a common greeting. Uh, it has a very common style. If you read any of Paul's letters, it's very similar to him. But it's important to think, most scholars agree that James was actually the half-brother of Jesus, uh, a son of Joseph and, and Mary. And so he could have started the letter out like that, right? James, Jesus' half-brother. Uh, the, your, the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, half-brother. But James doesn't do that. James prefers to identify himself as a servant of Christ rather than the, the brother of Christ. It, it, something happened in James's life. He, he went from back in the Gospels of like thinking his brother had lost it to thinking that he is the Lord. And so some, something happened there. Um, for, for sure. And, and James chooses to identify not as a, a family member, maybe not as someone who could claim special privilege as Jesus's half-brother, but rather humbly as a servant of Jesus Christ. So we see that as, as Christians, uh, posturing and positioning is not what it's about. Rather, it's about being humble, being a servant. And in fact, that's much of what the book of James will go on to speak about. Now, to the 12 tribes in the dispersion, so the 12 tribes of Israel, the Jewish people, have been scattered uh, all over the, the known world. And that, and that has been how the church has gone. Is you have uh, Peter, you have Paul, different apostles who are going out and they go to the Jews first uh, in different places. And they will speak the, the, the good news of Jesus, the Messiah, and people will come to faith and start churches and then it spreads to the Gentiles. And, and so James is, is, is basically saying to Christians everywhere. To those who are in all places, I'm writing this letter to you. This is not a specific letter to address specific issues going on in a particular church, like many of Paul's letters. Rather, this is a general epistle to everyone who would claim the name of Jesus Christ. And friends, that's, that's you and me. So I look forward to us walking through this scripture together. Remember, I love you, take care of yourselves, and shine the light of Christ.